Hello, everyone. Continue to pray for my health, our finances, worldwide salvation. Always pray that you're found worthy. Pray for our dog, Deem. Always whining. I don't know what's wrong with him. Pray for an unspoken. Pray for um, Depali and her family. They need food. And for Aaron's finances, Bobby's health. If you have prayer, please let me know. Letting Go and Trusting God, 180 Devotions for Life's Tough Decisions by Pamela L. McQuaid. The First Choice And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, which worship God heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. And when she was baptized in her household, she besought us, saying, If we have judged to be the faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. Acts 16, 14 through 15. Benji, stop! I got this pimple on my lip. It hurts. When Paul came to Europe, a worshiper of God called Lydia listened to his message. This successful businesswoman was a Gentile who had contact with Hellenistic Jews and put faith in God, but she had not gone so far as to break from her heritage and join the synagogue. Lydia probably sat on the fence, attracted to God and ready to give him some of her life, but uncertain what more to do. When she heard Paul's message, God opened her heart fully. She made the first choice every believer has to make. Courage no longer eluded her, and her heart was free. Lydia moved wholeheartedly into her new faith, inviting Paul and his disciples into her home. Though they were pretty much strangers, and Paul was from a land she knew little of, she impudently made the men an integral part of her household for the length of their ministry in Thyatira, blessing the new church with her hospitality. Do we sit on the fence spiritually, or have we committed ourselves to the Lord who tugs at our hearts? God does not seek doubters, but calls us to give our whole lives to him. All right, I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your Friday. God bless.